In this video, I will be making a horror game in scratch. Here's how it went. Okay, let us start the game. Also, you might be wondering why I'm using Turbo Warp. It's because Scratch is having some problems and I was not able to create a project. But anyways, to start the game, I'll create the player. Create new sprite. I'm going to call this player. And then I'm going to make the player a square. Something like this. I'll just decrease the size. I'm going to make the square blue. And then I'll just add some eyes like this. And then maybe a simple mouth. Something like this should do, I hope. But anyways, here's the player. I'm also going to add an invisible square around it to fix the clipping issue turbo warp will not have that issue but if i put it on scratch it will definitely have but anyways here's the player now my plan is to make a horror maze game so i'm just going to create a new sprite for the level and then i'm just going to quickly make a maze okay so here is the maze i'm going to make the background color to something like dark red so that it looks scary something like this and now i'll concentrate on the player movement even beginners can do it it's like when green flag clicked forever if i'll check if the right arrow is pressed i'm going to change x by 5 then if touching the maze i'm going to change it by minus 5 then if left arrow is pressed i'm going to change x by minus 5 else change it by 5 and as you can see i'm having wall detection when i click the left arrow and when i click the right arrow and if i collide we have wall collision as well so i'm just going to do the same thing for the up and down as well and that's basically the player movement now i also added support for wasd keys feels much better now anyways now i think is the time to tell my idea so it's like just a normal maze but i'm going to be adding jump scares in between for example if the player passes this point right over here a jump scare will play just like that i'm going to be adding four jump scares and this is totally an original idea stop the cap <laughs> Okay, so I did get this idea from somewhere. I just don't remember where. But yeah, let's continue coding. So to code the jump scares, I need specific points to check whether the player has passed a specific position or not. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a new sprite called detector. I'm just going to copy the maze, paste it here. And now I'm going to add a jump scare here. So basically when the player passes this point, a jump scare will play. And then I'm going to add one right over here as well. Another one here. And I guess another one here. So as I said, there are four jump scares. Now I'm going to just delete this level. It was just used as reference. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create separate costumes for each of these detectors. So basically for the first detector, I'm going to call this one. Copy paste this first detector. And for the second one, I'm just going to copy paste this. For the third one, I'll copy paste this. And for the last one, I'm just going to copy paste this again. And here are my detectors. Now to show them all at the same time, I'm going to be using clones. So what I'm going to be doing is when green flag clicked switch costume to costume one repeat four i'm going to be creating a new variable called id for this sprite only and then i'm going to set it to zero here change it by one create clone of myself and then next costume then when i start as a clone show and like this we can see all our detectors now we don't want to be showing them so i'm just going to set the ghost effect to 100 now we can't see them although their visibility is still true and now it's time to code the first jump scare i'm going to call this jump scare one and for this i'm going to be using using frank the giant i'll just center it and i'll just find a loud sound from the sound library a few sounds later <laughs> Now I found this loud sound called bonk, this is how it sounds. Now after some coding here is what we have. And now to actually play it, I'm going to go to this detector sprite. And I'm just going to create a new block called detect and then just put this id input here, click ok. Then we're going to check if id is equal to id. Then here I'm going to check if touching layer. Then basically I'm just going to broadcast a new message called jump scare and the id like whatever the id is and then basically i'm just going to delete this clone and what i mean by that is we can't repeat the jump scares so we're going to do detect one two three and finally four and basically that's all the code required for the first jump scare i'm just going to call this jump scare one now whenever i pass the first point we get this <coughs> I hope it looks scary. Now for the second jump scare, I'm going to be adding something like a boom. Yeah, which is that one. So it's already pre-made here. So if I just click this. So that's the boom effect. So now all I need to do is when I receive jump scare 2, I'm going to broadcast this message here. 
and now whenever i pass the second point we get that now the third jump scare might seem a bit scary for this i'm going to be adding a ghost as you can see and even a scream sound effect so i'm going to do when green flag clicked hide then when i receive jump scare 3 show i'm going to start sound this scream repeat 10 and then go to random position and then maybe hide i'm actually going to increase this to something like 25 okay so now it's time for the moment of truth when i pass this point that jump scare will play that was the jump scare i'm just going to increase this volume a bit now for the last jump scare i'm going to be doing something a bit different i'm going to choose this reindeer sprite then when i receive jump scare 2 show go to x0 y0 clear graphic effects so this is basically the effect i'm going to give and then maybe add some wacky sounds as well but this time i'm going to make this very loud okay so here is how the jump scare looks like now to finish off the game I added this cool effect here. Anyways, now it's time for some gameplay. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.